welcome to the channel if you're new hit that subscribe button it really helps us out today I am on Quail Creek Reservoir and man let me tell you the water is low I mean it's really low <clears throat> so I'm gonna try for a mixed bag today I'm looking at the graph as I just kind of slowly wander around here uh, I want to go for trout of course bass maybe crappie bluegill who knows everything we'll try it all I'm gonna start I think doing some trolling uh, let me just say I did not bring any bait today well let me rephrase that I didn't bring any power bait I did bring some night crawlers I was intending to uh, tip some um, lures with them to try for largemouth but I may use them for trout, who knows. But I think currently I'm going to troll for trout. And I saw a guy bring one in at the ramp, you know, a little 12 inch or so, but there's fish in here, of course. It's just finding them. And I don't fish here very often, not often at all, like once or twice a year. And I've never caught a bass in here. It's always just been trout off some power bait, so. We'll try something different today and try a little bit of everything and hopefully we can connect. I'm gonna keep my expectations really low, so I'm not expecting anything of greatness today. So if I do connect, it'll be it'll be a good thing. Anyway, let's get started and get them. Join me. So there were a cluster of boats around the ramp. They're all fishing right in front of the ramp. They're not moving around. I'm presuming for trout. So, I don't really, that, that's pretty much it. It's a weekday, it's a Friday, just before Halloween. There's no one else on the water. And I was gonna come out here earlier in the week, but the winds were pretty bad and it finally just calmed down as we got to the end of the week here. So, here I am. Just a high today of 78 degrees. Absolutely perfect, light winds. I mean, weather-wise, you can't beat it. Fishing-wise, who knows? Well, let's go ahead and start trolling a little bit. See what that brings, if anything. I'll start out with a little Rapala Shad Wrap here. This is a number seven. And uh, yeah, kind of make my way over to the dam, stay in about 20, 30 feet of water and see if anything happens. All right, we're in the water. Well, I'm seeing fish here and there. All right, I'm gonna go in a little shallower from 20 to 10 feet. I'm gonna switch to this. This is the uh, the hardcore shad. 60 SP in case you're curious. I think Yuzuri makes it. Anyway, this will go uh, right about nine or 10 feet. So we'll try this and I can get a little shallower. I see the boats are a little closer to shore. Try this for a second anyway. take long. Did not get skunked. Very nice. Well, I'd be lying if I was. <laughs> if I was to say I'm a little surprised. <laughs> I mean, I no sooner got that in the water, bam, he hit it. Wow, that's awesome. All right, well, one bow in the boat so far. Oh, fish, oh no. Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness, as I'm talking about it. Oh, it's another boat. That's too good. Oh, yes. Oh, oh it's a nice, healthy bow. 
right on. Excellent. <laughs> so I'm staying pretty shallow. And uh, that's two now on this. Not bad. And they're pretty decent sized bows. Excellent. Well, I do believe I will keep this up for a little while. All right. That's not a bad start. Yeah, so like I said, right here at the end of October, tomorrow's Halloween. Uh, water temperature is 61.5 degrees. Pretty good. Keep trolling for trout for a little while. Then maybe we'll go on some bass or something. I was watching the graph. I think I might have found a school of bluegill or something right around 12 feet. So I'm just going to drop one of these little Berkeley gulps just over two and a half inches, just at two and a half inches, I think. Let's see if that is indeed some bluegill or crappie. Could be, could be both. Just got to go find them again. Yeah, seems like there's something down there. find anything on that so that must not have been anything or maybe it was and they just weren't interested so I think I'm gonna go to some deeper water and uh, try trolling the old XD5 here see if anything's interested in that because from what I understand large bass like to hang out near the ramp because that's where the DNR dump all the trout so they just sit there and get fat I don't know this is just something I'm I'm thinking and I've heard so I'll give a couple passes in uh, some 20 to 30 feet of water and see if anything hits that. Why not, right? So this particular lure right here, the XD5, this will go down to 20 feet. Uh, I gotta make sure I stay in that range. Well, maybe a trout will hit it too, you never know, right? I think there's a big trout in here as well. Well, back to trolling again. Go back to that, or trolling for trout, that is. Man, I have this initial too, and it's just dropped. I just got a strike over there, but uh, other than that, nothing. It's the way the game plays, though. Y'all know what time it is. Chicken hot sauce. Let's see if it turns on after I get a little something in me, man. Cheers. Back at it. It's on. It's on. Switch to a little shad wrap, number five there in the craw. Let's have a look at this guy. Get my hands wet now. Go. Nice and wet. It's a nice bow here. There we are. Look at that. That's a nice fish, eh? Right, he's going back.
one all right yeah, these are all pretty healthy all right God, I had a kind of slow spell there about an hour and a half between fish I got two right when I started and then uh, not much happened for a while and I just got two more so Maybe it's picking up in the afternoon. Who knows? Let's get back at it. Okay, can we get another one? This one, whoa, he's peeling line. Peeling line, let's get that. What, what, oh. Whoa. Big fish. Oh man. Wow. Oh, I hope I can land this one. Is it a trout? <sighs> Dang. Whatever is this big. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh man. Top now. Moving. Wow. What do I got? What is that? Whoa, that is a big bow. That is a big bow. Goodness. This might be the biggest rainbow I've ever caught. Oh man. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh man. First, let's have a look. Look at this fish. Wow. All right, this is a big trout. Hands are wet. Oh. This fish. Oh, look at this fish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, it's going to be hard to top that one. Mercy. That was a big rainbow. I think it's the biggest rainbow I've ever caught. Good night. Released. All fish today have been released. So, live to fight another day. God, man. That was a fight. Wow. Right on. Oh, <laughs> right on. Wow. That was certainly worth the slow spots. Man. I'm impressed. Impressed. Another bow? Yes, indeed. Bow. <sighs> <laughs> 
There we are. Man, these are healthy fish in here. Nice. There we go. Nice fish. Nice healthy fish. Oh, I was really hoping we get some jet skis out here. It was just too quiet. Right on. <laughs> it's on. Wow. Dang. Gotta give it a shot at least. So I'm gonna try for some bass for a bit. And I'm going to use the Guggen Baits trench hog. Yup. I feel the experience I've had with this particular bait lure this here that if it's going to hit anything, it's going to hit one of these. So, I'm going to give this a shot for a little while, then go back to trolling before I wrap the day. And I'm just going to Texas rig this, so it'll be weedless. And that's what we're looking like right there. Let's give it a shot. Because people say there's bass in here. I don't know. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I've never caught one. All right, we gave that a shot for a minute. I'm gonna troll back around, see if we can nab another trout. go nice one very nice <laughs> beautiful fish all right well there you have it quail creek reservoir i would say the day was successful i caught quite a few trout very impressed one being the largest rainbow trout i've ever caught so awesome i didn't spend too much time fishing for bass so I can't say whether or not it's any good here. Like I said earlier, I've never caught a bass in here. People do catch them. Maybe one day I'll be lucky enough. But uh, for now, the trout fishing, pretty darn good. Had a slow spot uh, right at 
mid-afternoon but then it really picked up for a bit so there you have it folks as always thanks for watching tight lines if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and speaking of subscribing thank you to all of our subscribers and our patrons we really appreciate you for sticking with us and supporting the channel okay we'll see you next time d rock out adios